Hey, Jesus, did you leave this remote for the TV in here? It's for the monitor, man. A remote for a monitor? All right, tech fans, so yes, it's crazy. Today's product that we're reviewing is a brand new monitor from the people over at BenQ. It's the EX2780Q, and this is one awesome monitor. And like I said, it actually comes with a remote control to control all the features of your monitor. So all your presets, your settings, all the different things you wanna do. You don't even have to touch your monitor. All you have to do is use this little remote, which is pretty cool, I think. Now, as far as the looks go, you guys can see that from the front, this monitor looks amazing. It's 27 inches. It's an IPS panel. You can barely even see the bezel on this monitor. It is so small, which means it'll be great for using multi monitors. So if you wanted to use a three monitor setup, this is definitely going to be one of the monitors you want to check out. Now, this particular monitor also features 2560 by 1440 resolution. It is a full on 2K monitor. It has 144 hertz. It's got free sync. It's got 300 nits of brightness, a thousand to one contrast ratio. Just all in all, this monitor is geared to be a killer gaming monitor. Now, a lot of people are gonna be like, hey, Elric, it is an IPS monitor. It's not made for gaming. Well, you are getting five milliseconds of gray to gray response, excuse me, gray to gray response. So if you're a gamer out there and you think that you can really tell that timing difference, I'm gonna tell you right now, you really can. I've played on this monitor for hours and hours and end, and you cannot tell whatsoever. This monitor, as far as just looking at and everything, is completely beautiful. The picture on it looks extremely nice. As far, you know, as just like sitting in front of it, it's elegant. And one thing that this monitor has that's different than pretty much any other monitor I've ever seen is it does have two two watt speakers and a five watt subwoofer. That's right, I said it, a five watt subwoofer. In fact, I would have to say that overall, this is the best sounding monitor sound that I've ever heard on any monitor that we've ever brought in here to Tech of Tomorrow. It just sounds amazing. And that's something really cool because as a gamer, you really don't wanna have to be able to go out and force to buy speakers or maybe your desktop real estate can't afford to put speakers on it. But with this particular product, you do not need to have any speakers whatsoever because it sounds good enough to be your main source of sound and that's nice great you have the initiative keep going Now, as far as what comes inside the box, you get the driver CD, a user's manual, a power cord, a type C cable, an HDMI cable, and obviously that really cool remote control. The stand itself, even though you can't really adjust the monitor very much, it has very minor tilt capabilities. There is really great cable management options. However, you can tuck all of your cables and everything in behind the monitor and make it look nice and clean on your desktop. Now, like I said before, even though you can control all the options with the remote control, you can do it all manually as well. On the back right-hand side of the monitor, there's a little joystick and a bunch of buttons that are really easily accessible so that you can change all the features manually if you so choose. Now, some other really cool things about this particular monitor is this monitor has a volume wheel. This is something I haven't seen ever before. You just slide the volume wheel back and forth and you can adjust your volume right very easily on your monitor without having to really touch anything. That's a feature I think is actually pretty cool.
Now, as far as the viewing angle on this monitor is, it's 178 degrees, which means no matter where you're looking at this monitor, you're gonna be able to see it without any problem whatsoever. And if you're a person out there who does more than just game, you do Photoshop and stuff like that, the color gamut in this monitor is really nice. 95% of the DCI P3, which means that all the colors are gonna be pretty accurate. They're not gonna be completely, totally accurate, but they're very close. Now another thing that's not really talked about too much at all anymore in monitor technology is the pixels per inch and this particular monitor has 109 pixels per inch. This monitor also features true 10 bit color and 1.07 billion colors. That's a lot of color. And if for some reason you do want to use your headphones on this particular monitor, there is a headphone jack as well so you don't have to worry about hooking directly into your PC. You can hook directly to the monitor. Now, as we turn the monitor around to the back, you're gonna see that this monitor has some really nice connections. It features two HDMI 2.0 connections, a DisplayPort connection, and also USB Type-C as well. And if you're one of those folks who likes to mount their monitor on a wall and not on their desktop, there's a panel that can be removed on the back and then you can base a wall mount this monitor as well. Some other features this monitor has are some eye care features, which means that you can really stare at this monitor, like I said, for a long time. It features flicker-free technology, low blue light, and it features Brightness Intelligence Plus. And if you're wondering what exactly that means, that means that regardless of the room that you're in, the monitor will actually adjust its color so that your eyes aren't being strained. So if you're in a really bright room, a really dark room, the monitor is automatically going to adjust so that it's comfortable for you and doesn't strain your eyes out after hours of use. Now this monitor actually offers some other unique features, such as Smart Focus. And what Smart Focus does is it pretty much blacks out all of your screen except for one little part, making that part stand out. And it also has super resolution, so if you're watching videos and stuff like that, it's just going to make your image extra crispy. And like I said before, if you're a gamer, this monitor does feature FreeSync technology. And a lot of these monitors, and I believe this one is included in well, will actually work with your Nvidia card as well as your AMD card. Another thing that we do here at Tech of Tomorrow is we test the lag time of every monitor that comes through our doors. And this monitor had a lag time of eight milliseconds, which is really nothing considering that it takes a thousand milliseconds even to make one second. All right, so there you have it, the EX2780Q by BenQ. Now, one thing I'm gonna have to mention about this monitor is this monitor is a little bit pricey. This monitor is $599. But honestly, the only real complaint that I would have about this monitor at all is the fact that it really doesn't have much options for changing things, meaning I can barely just tilt the monitor back and forth. I don't have a lot of options for, for turning it up and stuff like that. But I guess when you're talking about a gaming monitor, maybe those features aren't so important as like a person who's doing work. But for me, I like those features because let's just face it, sometimes you're sitting at a desk or you're just doing work somewhere and the monitor is just not right at the, you know, it's not at the perfect height for you to, to look at the monitor and having some of those other options would be really nice. But beyond that, the audio sounds incredible. Everything looks super crispy clean. I mean, you've got the connectivity with USB-C, you've got DisplayPort, you've got HDMI 2.0, you pretty much have every type of connectivity that you want to have on the monitor. Um, everything, like I said, just looks amazing. You have FreeSync technology built in. I mean, overall, I have to say that just for the features, this is a serious editor's choice here on Tech of Tomorrow. I know that the price is a little bit daunting, but I mean, let's just face it, you're getting a QHD monitor, 2560 by 1440, FreeSync, built-in speakers, built-in subwoofer, and a remote control and a volume scroll wheel? I mean, come on. Beyond the price, you really have to admit that this monitor just has really nice features. And once again, I just wanna say this. A lot of people are gonna leave a comment down below and go, oh, no, thank you, man. It's five milliseconds, gray to gray. If it's not one millisecond, it's not good enough for me. I guarantee you that you cannot tell that this monitor 
is five milliseconds greater gray when you're playing games. There's no way that your eye is going to detect that. This monitor, as far as I'm concerned, is excellent all the way across the board. The fact that it does have a 95% accuracy as far as the color goes means you can do stuff in Photoshop, editing, and all that stuff, and it's gonna be pretty close to accurate. Is it the most accurate on the planet? No, it's not, but this monitor really isn't totally designed for that. Um, a lot of people are always like putting down IPS panels for gaming, but I have a lot of friends, including a friend of mine, Adrian, who he lives in the next state over, but he loves IPS monitors. He just does, whether it's for gaming, for working, or whatever. He likes the clarity and how good they look, and that's always been my thing too. IPS monitors have always looked the best. TN, VA panels, they both have their, what I would call, you know, I don't know, not flaws, but strengths and weaknesses. And I really think that this IPS monitor, where it's at, fits in a really nice niche spot. Now, we'll have a link down below where you guys can check this out and get more information. I'm sure there's probably some other reviews around the world that you guys will want to check out. Um, the people over at BenQ have now told me this monitor is fully in stock, so if you want to purchase one, you can do that for yourself. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech and Tomorrow. Totally appreciate you guys being here. Um, we are all over social media. We're on you know, any social media platform that you can name. We're on Patreon. We'd love for you to support us on Patreon. It helps the site out. There are plenty of ways to help us. We even have a link down below where you can try Amazon Prime. All of these things don't cost you really any money whatsoever, but they help keep this channel alive so that we can bring you more tech videos here on Tech of Tomorrow. Peace.